Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. We're going to be talking about the big D bag or the dude bag from Delco. Now, this is going to be one of those subscription based mystery bags that you get in the mail. Uh, about every 15th of the month. At least that's when they send them out. So you should get them within the next five days or so. And I've done several of these reviews from different companies, uh, other mystery boxes that are out there. And I would say that ultimately, uh, based off of what you're paying and what you're getting, more times than not, you're going to end up with something that is well worth the price of what you're paying for the bag or the box. And in this particular case, I first firmly believe that. I only have one experience with the D-Bag and it's this one right here. So I thought I'd give you guys my opinions about this. Now, full disclosure, Delco did send this to me. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I didn't pay for this. They just sent it out to get my opinions and do a video for you guys. But they did also uh, provide me with a coupon code. So if you guys are interested, I have all of that information down in the link below. If you want to try out one of these bags, you'll end up getting a free $200 D2 knife with your order uh, if you use my code. And I would greatly appreciate it because it lets them know that I sent you guys there and you get something a little bit extra out of it as well. Now, when it comes to the D bag, they're going to have a couple of different uh, tiers, I guess you could call it, on how you order these. You can buy a bag just by itself. You can do the monthly subscription. You can sign up for six months at a time, or you can sign up for a year at a time. So take it with a grain of salt on how you guys want to, you know, skin that cat. But at the end of the day, um, this is what came in this bag and let's get into it. I guess the first thing is going to be this stuff right here. This is going to be a solid cologne, I guess is what it's called. It's, it's almost like beard butter. If you guys are familiar with that, but it is a cologne, I guess. And it smells, it smells good. It smells like vanilla. I don't know if you guys like that smell or not. I particularly do because I have some uh, cover scent that I use when I'm out hunting and it smells just like that. And I actually like the smell of it because when I'm hunting, I don't want to smell like deer piss all the time. So I use this cover spray. It's called Nose Jammer. It smells just like this stuff. Really, really do like that. The next thing is actually something really interesting. I've been looking to do something like this. I wanted to see what it was all about. And it's going to be one of these firearm magnets that you can put underneath your dashboard or underneath a table or something like that. And I really was interested in checking one of these out. Say, um, if you mount it in your car, let's say that you are going to be on a very long road trip and you don't want to carry your firearm in your holster the entire way, you can set this underneath your dashboard and then place your firearm up against it. And you don't have to worry about it being digging into your belly or your side the entire time. There's some people that don't believe that you should do that. And I totally understand why they believe that. And I don't necessarily disagree, but for those people who just are not comfortable on long road trips, this is an option. So this is actually pretty cool. I would imagine this is probably worth maybe, I don't know, 20 bucks or so. Um, so that already about a third of the price of the bag right off the bat. It's going to come with all the hardware that you need for it. So if you know how to hang a picture, you guys can probably mount one of these. Uh, the third thing that came in this bag is one of these low profile wallets. And um, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be RFID blocking, but I have no way to verify that. And this is actually something very similar to what I carry already. I carry this one right here. It's just a single fold wallet and it has all of my cards. I try to keep things to a minimum as much as possible. And this is actually going to uh, decrease that footprint even more. It has a nice little clip that you can use for your pocket. So maybe you already have a wallet. This would be great for business cards or, um, you know, maybe just your money, your foldable cash money. Uh, you can definitely 
use that there. Now, the biggest piece of this particular bag is probably what I think is the most important, why I left it to the end. And it's probably going to be well worth the cost of the bag in this particular case. And that's going to be an IFAC. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent kit. I've seen these range from anywhere between uh, $80 to close to $200. So depending on what you're getting inside is going to depict how much you're going to spend on one of these IFACs. And this one is actually a pretty decent kit. I'm actually going to put this in my truck and it's going to stay there. But it's going to come with all the different types of gauze and bandages that you need or would want. It's got some more of the larger, larger uh, adhesive style covering bandages. It has uh, medical tape, it's got rubber gloves, it's got one of the CPR mouth covers so you don't have to put your lips directly on somebody else. You can use one of these to cover their mouth and then give someone CPR. It's got uh, pressure dressing, it's got a tourniquet and more bandages right here. So a really decent kit, a part of this bag. And I think this alone, even if you got rid of everything else, this alone is well worth the cost of the dude bag. So something to consider, you know, uh, like I said, I'm very happy that uh, had I bought this, that I would have gotten this IFAC. Again, this is going to go into my truck and it's going to stay there because um, I've got one, but I've been using it kind of to move back and forth between my range kit and put it into my truck and take it on trips and stuff like that. Now I have one just for the, uh, just for the truck. It will stay there. So a couple different things to consider. Number one is not everything in this bag is going to be perfect for you. And I would encourage you guys, if it comes down to something like that, maybe gift it to a friend and say, Hey, I got this in a bag. I really don't need it. Uh, you might try it, see if you like it or whatever the case may be. So that's one aspect. Number two is uh, this is a great option for the person who has everything. You can just, you know, buy one for a birthday or Christmas or, you know, whatever the case may be. Father's Day, maybe Mother's Day, who knows. But <laughs> at the end of the day, this is a viable option for the person that may have everything. Who knows? Um, is it going to be perfect every single month? No, but again, uh, like I said, a couple times in this video uh, before, if you get something you don't necessarily like, then you can always gift it to somebody else. And that's what I've done with some of my other bags or boxes that I've gotten in the mail as well. So let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of the dude bag? Uh, by all means, swing by, check the link out and use the coupon code to get your free knife if you guys are interested in picking up one of these just to test out. Again, they've got a couple different tiers. They've got monthly, uh, they've got an individual bag, they've got semi-annual and annual tiers that you guys can sign up for. And I would love to hear what you guys' uh, thoughts are on these. Sound off in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for swinging by. We will catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.